Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your tower scope for May 2019. Angels, divine spirits, and guides, I invite you now to come in and deliver messages to the zodiac sign of Virgo for May 2019. What do my Virgo friends need to know? All right, I got a couple jumpers here. The Knight of Wands and the Three of Swords reversed. Show them the messages they need to see. All right, let's cut them and get them out. I'll take those last two. The Ten of Pentacles, nice. And the Six of Swords reversed. One, two, three. The Knight of Swords reversed. The Nine of Cups. The King of Cups reversed. The Magician reversed. And the Five of Cups reversed. Overall energy, bottom of the deck. The Seven of Wands in reverse. Before we start, that one jumped out right away. Let's pull a few Kipper cards. That one jumped out right away. Jeez. They got a lot to say, Virgo. I'm a Virgo son here. So I always look forward to the Virgo reading. Well, we got two. We'll take them. The thoughts... And the privileged lady. Can you see those? Kind of. I'll move them up a little bit. Let me move that up. Uh, there. All right. This reading is for all sun, moon, and rising Virgos. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Messages go to those who need them. If it doesn't resonate, there's a link in the description box below where you can find your moon and your rising sign. And then you can go and watch those other two videos and maybe you'll resonate with one of them. If this reading does resonate with you, please be sure to click the little thumbs up button below the video. And of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It's greatly appreciated. Unfortunately, I had to disable my comments for a little while. I work really hard on these readings and some people just don't have nice things to say. But there's a bunch of other tarot card readers out there who are very good. So if you don't like the way that I read, then, you know, maybe you could check out somebody else. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I love you all. And here we go. So the first card that we have is the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's about an offer, a passionate offer, an offer for work, an offer for travel. Could be a younger person in your life. The next card that we have is the Three of Swords, reversed Libra energy. So that tells me that someone's getting over the heartbreak. Someone's getting over something that recently happened to them starting the healing process this this person could have came in and gave you an apology swords are all about communication so maybe someone said something that hurt your feelings the next card that we have is the ten of pentacles sign of virgo and that's all about the stable family having everything that you need this is probably a relationship that's been together for a long time it takes a long time to get to the ten takes a lot of hard work and effort to get to this solid, stable foundation. It's all about having everything that you need. The next card that we have is the Six of Swords in Reverse, which is the sign of Aquarius. That's about being unsure about this new direction. Someone knows that they want to go into a new direction. They want to leave this drama behind. They want to move into the calmer waters, but it represents hesitation. Someone is just refusing to move on even though they know that they should. The next card that we have is the Knight of Swords in Reversed, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. 
That's all about something that comes to a sudden halt. Someone could have got a message over here about job loss. They knew that they wanted to leave. They knew that they wanted to change jobs, but they didn't do it. And then maybe they got fired. It's about being frustrated and not knowing what to do with these thoughts over here. I feel like somebody's thinking, now what am I going to do? The next card that we have is the Nine of Cups. Pisces energy. Great happiness. Wishes being fulfilled. Being emotionally satisfied. The next card that we have is the King of Cups reversed. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I call him the drama king when he's reversed. This person could be moody, depressed. Maybe they drink a lot. This Nine of Cups could be overindulgence. Also known to be a manipulator. Um, someone who makes a lot of excuses. And the reason that I point that out is because it happens to be right next to the magician in reverse, which signifies the same thing. This person could just be lacking motivation, not using their full potential. It's about someone having a trick up their sleeve. The next card that we have is the Five of Cups in reverse. So getting over the sadness, getting over the hurt, accepting the loss, accepting what this person did to you could represent the apology. But with this King of Cups in reverse, uh, someone who doesn't show emotion makes me feel like they don't want to apologize. But you're just going to accept that fact so you can be happy and you can start to heal. This Knight of Wands has his back to the apology. This mani manipulating energy um, also this Five of Cups has his back to that. So somebody's turning their back on this apology, this situation, and they're choosing to just move on. I give up. I'm not going to struggle anymore. And this other person's thinking about it. See, he's an artist, and he's thinking about his portrait of the privileged lady. He's thinking about what he did to her. So somebody doesn't know if they made the right decision here. Let's pull some Essentials cards to clarify these. See where this is going. Mm, I wish you could smell this diffuser. Oh, talk about fresh flowers. It's just a scent that I created with a bunch of um, the angels' favorites, of course. And too bad you can't smell through the camera because I just feel like I want to stand here all day so pretty. Anyway, angels, divine spirits, and guides, what do you have to say for the zodiac sign of Virgo for May 2019? What do my Virgo friends need to know? All right, what do we got here? Justice in reverse, the wheel of fortune, the six of cups reversed, and the Empress. Oh, my goodness. All right, we got a few here. We got the Four of Wands reversed. The Knight of Wands reversed. And what do we got here? The Chariot reversed. The Two of Cups reversed. And the Five of Cups. Mm -mm -mm. Bottom of the deck, the lovers reversed as well. Holy moly. So yeah, um, relationships coming to an end here somewhere. Something that somebody said. This could be family. Oh, I forgot one, didn't I? So let's move all these back one. Sorry, I just noticed. Give me a break here. <laughs> I want to um, do them right. Let's put the five. Oh, look at that. The five of cups ends up on top of the five of cups. I love when that happens. One's reversed and one's upright. Just by looking at what came up here, I, I really feel there's some tough love going on here. Let's start at the beginning. We have the justice card in reverse, which is the sign of Libra. It's about unfairness, someone not telling the truth. This person's not taking responsibility for their actions. But you know what? With this Wheel of Fortune on top of this Three of Swords in reverse really makes me feel like this was meant to be. This change needed to happen because it's sending someone in the right direction. I feel like this person has hit rock bottom and they're just a taker. They just keep taking and taking and not giving anything in return. Could be one of your children. We got the mother here and she's in the upright position. 
this is Scorpio. This just says you're not going to give this person love anymore. I know I keep saying tough love, but I'm feeling it really strong. Like I'm a better person than that. I'm not going to put up with this. I'm unsure that I made the right decision here and I was hesitant to do it because it probably hurt the person, but I just have to let it go. The four of wands, the size, sign of Aries, it's just lack of harmony in the household, in the family. There's no joy, no peace. There's a lot of tension. That's my separation card. And this Knight of Wands in reverse, you know, that's that in and out energy. This is something that just keeps happening over and over. Somebody's putting their foot down here and saying, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to put up with this anymore. This person is just impulsive. They don't think before they act. It's also the player. I feel like somebody's really playing on you. Take, 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 take. Always making excuses. They're not moving forward. They're not having success. They're not having victory. They're not on the right path. The chariot and the knight of swords both is about something that just comes to a sudden halt. Somebody's just out of control here. This is a sign of Cancer. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Scorpio. Just giving up on this person, giving up on this relationship. The lovers in reverse and the two of cups in reverse. We're not achieving our sta stability here. We're not achieving our happy family. This just has to end. I'm sorry, I have to let you go. The five of cups is mourning, sadness, regret, disappointment. This privileged lady over here, you know, she's known to be stubborn. Somebody is just not doing the right thing. And there needs to be a change. This needed to happen. I love the fact that this is right smack in the center and it's crowning the whole reading. It's destiny. So if you are feeling sad and disappointed about the situation and wondering if you made the right choice, because it was a tough decision, I feel like you did. This person needs to realize that they can't keep doing this. They feel like they're privileged. They feel like you owe them and you've done enough. Let's pull a couple of romance angels. Romance angels, what do you have to say for the zodiac sign of Virgo for May 2019? What do my Virgo friends need to know about this reading on the table? Can we please have a message? Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So by me getting that, I mean, it just makes me feel like once you do let go of this person, it's going to lighten your heart. You're going to feel better. You're going to be able to be playful, be happy. Maybe give yourself the opportunity to meet somebody new. Let's see if they have anything else. Romance angels, do you have anything else for the zodiac sign of Virgo? for May 2019. What do my Virgo friends need to know? Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And even if they do try and flirt with you, I feel like you're not going to accept it. But with separation, you know, it does make me feel like this could be temporary. Um, you know, it doesn't necessarily say that it's over. I don't see any death cards or anything like that here. Close of chapters. So maybe this is a temporary thing where you are going to work this out eventually. Once this person trusts, this situation is calling for you to have faith. So I feel like you're saying it's really hard for me to let you go. And I don't know if I did the right thing, but I have to do this tough love so you'll get on the right path. And you're just going to have to trust and have faith that you're doing the right thing and that this is going to work out. I feel like it is going to change this person. We'll pull one guardian angel to get a final message before we go into angel answers and see, because I'm curious now, I feel like... You're just going to have to do this tough love thing for a little bit. And then maybe this person's going to realize what they did. 
and come back. There it is. Thank you, angels. A win-win solution. Hmm. There is strength in diversity. By blending the ideas of other people with your own, you can often come up with a solution that's magnificent. Start by focusing on the aspects that everyone agrees upon, and then open your mind to compromise and working together. Stay balanced and seek out a moderate approach. So that's temperance. So that is telling me that I do feel um, that's what I was focused on while I was shuffling. Is this person going to come back? Is this going to work out? So I feel the answer to that is yes. After you go through this heartbreak and disappointment and regret and separation, this person's going to probably come back um, with an apology eventually. And they're going to realize that you were right and you all are going to work together to find a solution to get this relationship back on track. But they needed to hit rock bottom here. They needed to feel the tough love. Wow. That reading was a little rough. I was worried. <laughs> All right. We're going to move into angel answers. You can start focusing on your question now. I'd rather you not pick your number. Remain positive. Just flew out of the deck. I couldn't even keep control of it. Remain positive. Know that you're doing the right thing, Virgo. Even if it hurts. Um, lay three cards face down on the table. Please don't pick your number until all three cards are down. So you can feel the energy. Go with your gut. Follow your instinct. Hope you didn't see that one. Okay. Now you can pick one, two, or three. Only pick one number. Don't change your mind. If you change your mind or you don't pick one number, you're just not going to get the clarity that you need to have the answer to your question. All right, are you ready, Virgo? Answer number one. Choose a new direction. That's what this person needs to do. Answer number two. There is a peaceful resolution. Look, you have that twice. And answer number three. Take action. Okay, Virgo, only you are going to know how those answers are going to resonate with your question. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next month.